This is why I say, my young friends, you know, if you want to believe, then you believe. If you don't want to believe, if you don't want to believe in Allah and His Rasul, if you don't want to believe in the Akhirah, then my friends, the choice is yours. Don't believe. Allah says, فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيَكْفُرْ Nobody will be forced to declare the kalima La ilaha illallah, La ikraha fi din. Nobody will be forced to accept, embrace Islam and accept the kalima La ilaha illallah. You want to believe? You believe. You don't want to believe? Don't believe. You want to reject Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Then my friend, you reject Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You want to give preference to the dunya over the akhirah and you want to enjoy this life you know the 50 years that you might get the 60 years that you might get and if you're lucky you get a hundred years you want to enjoy this and you want to give this preference to the eternal bliss in paradise then my friend it's your choice you do this you want to live a life whining and dining you want to live a life pubbing and clubbing you want to live a life chilling and thrilling then my friend you do this well, let me tell you, you know what? The last laugh will be with none other than the Lord of the Arsh and Kursi. The last laugh will be with none other than the Lord of the Arsh and Kursi. Because Rasulullah sallallahu said, You do as you please, but remember, tamutuna kama tahyon, wa tuhshiruna kama tamutun. You will die just like you lived. You will die just like you lived. And you will be resurrected on the day of judgment, just like you died. Kullu abdin yub'ath ala ma mata alayh. You will die just like you lived. You know, if you've lived whining and dining, chilling and thrilling, and giving preference to the dunya over the akhirah, and then you think in your little mind that on the point of death, you will utter the kalima la ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, or you will die reciting dhikr, or sending salutations on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, or you will die in the state of prostration, then my friend, people like you and me are living in cuckoo land. We're living in cuckoo land. If we believe that we reject Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then we're going to die with the kalima la ilaha illallah. Then we're kidding none other than ourselves. Just as it is hoped that one who pleases Allah and his Rasul and suppresses his desires and gives preference to the akhirah over the dunya, Allah will honor him at the time of death. It's so possible that Allah takes out his soul when he's in the state of prostration, when he's bowing down before the Lord of the Arshan Kursi in para, prayer. Oh, Allah takes out his soul when he's woken up during the night and his hands are raised before his master and he's begging for Allah's mercy. Oh my friends, Allah takes his soul while he's sitting in the masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam before the rawda offering salams to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or he's in the masjid al-haram in the stair of a haram making tawaf around the house of Allah just as it is hoped that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will honor that individual who gives preference to the akhirah over the dunya it is feared one who gives preference to the dunya over the akhirah and rejects the teachings of Allah and his Rasul and neglects his obligation to Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam my friends, it is feared that Allah will disgrace him at the time of death. Allah will disgrace him at the time of death. And if Allah disgraces him at the time of death, then you tell me, what do you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has in store for him? Thereafter, in the grave, day of judgment, and Jahannam.